Alright guys, put together another video here. Uh, as I told you in the last one, um, motor did get hurt again. Uh, so I had fixed it, as you saw in the last video. I fixed the cylinder. Uh, cylinder 3 um, piston melted. And then I, I welded that cylinder, fixed it, put another piston, and then it was running around for, I don't know, a month, month and a half or something like that. No, no issues. It did have a um, you know what I thought was a piston slap on cold start uh, but once I uh, pulled or once I drove it around and it broke now it's broke again um, I realized it wasn't piston slap because cylinder 2 uh, failed this time and I'm pretty sure that piston came apart completely and just is all over the motor um, so I expect to have some some damage on the head that I'll have to repair um, definitely gonna need valves I'm sure a bunch of the valves are bent um, so I'm gonna pull it apart real quick and uh, when you guys get along for the ride real fast, see what the damage looks like. I'm just gonna pull everything apart and then uh, we'll see. The uh, I already pulled the valve cover off. Um, it's still on currently, but um, it's just sitting on top of it. I pulled the valve cover off and, and took a, one of the studs out to bring to the machine shop so that they can uh, oversize my new block. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get it set up here, grab some tools and uh, get this thing tore apart. All right, let's uh, let's get some stuff apart. Looks like the head's ready to come off. So let's see what uh, see what we did. Oh yeah, exactly what I figured. Let me uh, get this ground strap off of here. this ground shop off and we'll take a look. Yeah, that took a beating. Let's uh, show you what we got going on here. Woo! Well, rod stayed in the cylinder, barely, but it stayed in there. A couple chunks of piston in there. Let me get one out. I can't really get my hand down there. Well. Anyway, wrist pin failed. You can see that it's in half down there. That's what I figured happened. These uh, Vitara pistons, they have a real small... Um, they just don't have a lot of meat on the skirt where the, where the wrist pin is. Let me show you. You know, just all this area here. It's just very little you know, material there for it to really hold on, so it just broke away. 
you can see these are my old used ones and they got those little tiny cracks right there in the corners on both sides so just weak I guess I I must have damaged it when I melted that other piston and I just didn't know because I didn't see any physical damage from the top and I didn't take it apart so here we are and uh, so now this thing is uh, pretty wrecked um, the block looks like it could be drop a new sleeve in it and it'd be okay um, but like I said I already have another block so I'm not gonna worry about that right now so we'll throw this thing to the side if I ever need it or have another project that I want to use this for I always kind of wanted to sleeve a 1.5 um, and build it that way but you know I came across this motor that I have now um, that was already sleeved it's a uh, d16 a6 um, block it's just a I just bought a bare block um, that was already uh, had eagle sleeves in it or not. eagle is that right I don't remember I think it's eagle sleeves um, anyway so we're gonna we're gonna put that thing together um, I have a couple pictures of it I believe and then uh, the pistons that are going in it it's gonna be a uh, CP piston uh, 10 5 to 1 uh, so we're gonna bump the compression up quite a bit um, it's gonna be Eagle rods ACL bearings uh, it's doing the big stud again just like I did on this one um, they're gonna put the big studs in and you can see eh, you can't really tell but there's Healy coils down there um, and all of these cylinders are all these uh, stud holes so they did the big studs those are the SRT4 studs um, so yeah that's uh, that's where we're at uh, probably pull this thing the rest of the way apart um, probably not now I just kind of wanted to get the head off because I need to see what kind of damage I caused to the head and I'm gonna have to repair the head um, let's see what what we did to it um, so I'm sure I'm gonna have to make some repairs to this head and uh, I needed to get it off so I can see and get it all disassembled and see what kind of damage we caused oh yeah Alright, so cylinder two obviously is uh, pretty messed up. Uh, the others are going to be okay. They're not going to be too difficult to clean up at all, but cylinder two is obviously, you know, piston really tore that one up. So we'll, uh, we'll get the valves out, see how much we messed up the seats. Um, and then uh, I'll end up actually welding uh, Welding all this back up, you know filling it back in and then grinding it down and uh, reshaping it But okay, I mean not not terrible. I mean I already knew I was gonna need all the valves and whatnot. that's not a big deal. I may even talk to the machine shop about um, Doing oversized valves since you know, we'll see what these seats look like, but looks like this one at least is going to be damaged. But anyway, all right, not terrible. We'll uh, we'll get it all disassembled and cleaned up, and then uh, we'll weld it together and or weld it up and and reshape it, fix it, try to fix this uh, spark plug hole. We'll see. We may have to. Uh, may have to re-thread that one of the time cert but we'll we'll see i'll run a i'll run a tap through it and see if we can clean it up enough if not then no big deal we'll put a time cert in it but this is my uh my cnc ported head so we're definitely going to salvage it all right well i think that's it for now um once i get this thing all cleaned up and disassembled i'll uh probably do another video on the repair of the head get it all cleaned up and then uh, figure out what we're gonna do if we're gonna be able to uh, just slap another set of valves in here after the seats done or if we're just gonna oversize the seat we'll have to see we'll have to uh, get it all cleaned up and fixed and then we'll bring it to the machine shop and uh, see what they think all right well that's it for this one uh, like subscribe if you haven't already and uh, there'll be some more coming here shortly and uh, I mean this is 
I don't know, middle of the quarantine or whatever you want to call it now with this uh, COVID-19 crap. So just hanging out. I've been, uh, you know, not really working. So that's why I finally got around to these videos. So I figured I'd knock this out, get this stuff over to the machine shop, get it going. Cause you know, they take a long time. You remember how long it took last time to get stuff back. So at least get stuff over to them. They're still working. Um, so get something going, get the ball rolling on that. And I got some other stuff to fix around here. So I got some more stuff I'm going to do on the vet here soon. And, uh, my motorcycle that you've probably seen in the background, if you've been following around for a few times, I got an old 96 bandit 600 that I <clears throat> have as a little beater bike. You know, normally if I'm dirty or something, I need to run to the auto parts store for something small, I'll hop on it and ride over the auto parts store. But I haven't ridden it in so long now that the carbs need to be gone through. So I'm gonna pull it apart and do that. So all kinds of stuff to do. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next one.